coming your way. Everybody, it's your girl Shea Butter, and we are back with another Tell Me Why chapter two. Um, the last chapter we ended on was um, we saw the scene where mom came to the little girl because she cut her hair with a gun. The other daughter stabbed her in the back. Yes, they bodied the mama, okay? That's where we left off. I'm ready to get into the story more further, dig deeper. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. Not me. Just kidding. Love you, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you, too. Sorry, y'all. Sleep well and dream, my doves. I checked on something to make sure my camera was rolling and it stopped the recording. I just be getting nervous, like something, one thing is not doing right. Ollie? Ollie? What a waste. <clears throat> oh, wow. She just gonna drink it right out the container? Okay, that's cool. Like Allison! Ollie! Oh. Allison, help! Wow. Oh, man. how I would feel family secrets chapter two you know every family got secrets though not the murderous kind but you know. I'm gonna have to edit out this music
Hey. You doing all right? Nice little cutscene, but that was long as heck. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? Come on, turn off that music That's in the background. Spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Thank you. I don't need no copyright. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate huh. chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Two gallons? Who could, what? Who could even eat two gallons? You gonna be throwing up. Goblin faces keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. <laughs> you hungry? We have a whole lot nothing. of nothing. Um, Never. I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Ew. How do I do it? That sucked. Okay. I'm using my controller today instead of my keyboard. I'm hoping it helps, but I don't know so far. Dump in cake. All right. Why do they keep saying B? Okay. B is O. Oh, this is an Xbox Ancient game. Ancient appliances. You are staying here. Okay. Oh, that, that makes in sense. Okay, enough shape. No way. We right. are not moving the oven. Right. Kind of funnier. Oh, okay, cool. I like that. Well, how come none of the signs are showing up? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing. Okay, what do I press to get this? Got it. Where is the memory? Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. She can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. I'm starting to think Tessa wasn't all that bad. Where are the signals for these two dots right here? Like, I don't understand what's going on. Maybe I just stand close to him and... Nope. Nada. Okay. I don't know what's up with that. Pretty 
There is nothing. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I <laughs> hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Healthy. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh -huh. That's well, funny. At least I didn't leave a stain. Okay, some of these are not showing up. And I don't know if it's because I'm using my controller or what. Ah, that's a nice face. It's gotta be at the right angle. Okay. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With oh. the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. <laughs> Whatever you say, horse face. <laughs> Same face. Right. So it's got to be at the right angle. That's what I'm seeing. Still nothing. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. Where did it go? Okay. Yay! We almost missed here? a treasure. Is that gum? Ugh. Oh wow. I guess that was probably me. Let's read that. Goblins were here. That's funny. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another one. There we go. What to do with this? Uh, we getting rid of it. It's old. This is X. Uh, this has been sitting in a damp house for ten years. No one wants to eat off it. Right. Okay. Let's see what else. Should I go upstairs or what? Yeah, let's go. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary right. and the magpie. Uh, so I hate moving. I Hello, hate packing. Hello, broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Hmm. The whole room is trash? Okay. That's what's up. She's just like, the whole room, just throw it all away. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? I, I'm not really seeing anything that I would keep, but... Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. What the I heck is that? I can still taste it. Put it away. Say, ah. Uh... Uh... I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. <laughs> wow. 
Y. So it's Y. Fair enough. Junkyard. Yeah. Yup. All right, son, let's go upstairs. I'm just trying to figure out who is coming to pick and up all this what junk. Do you know? More stuff. But soft, what light through yonder? Oh, wait, it's just you. Clever, there's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find Maybe. To knock it down. Hmm, I could use that ball. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. <laughs> says you miss. Ow. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I win. That was Pay jacked up. up. Oh, shut up! Okay. Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Oh man. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why yes. I would love to have a tea party with you again <laughs> for the third time today. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two. <laughs> Softy. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey Tyler, how does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor, the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? To Ollie from Allison, others may not understand the laughs we have together and the love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy Siblings Day. It sounds like a monkey's in the house. What the heck? Dearest Ollie, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I am writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend, Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Kind regards, Allison. That's cute. Man, those are the nice things about being a so kid. So long, trusty bunk beds. Are we throwing them away? Oh, just selling them. They pretty old. I don't know. Congratulations, you found the map that will lead you on with no mishap. Follow my trail of twinkling stones and perchance you'll escape the unknown. Perchance, sorry. Perchance you'll escape the unknown. I think we're clear in this room. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Yes, I'm coming. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Okay, I already looked at that. Come on, we've got a lot more to do. Where are you? Where the heck is he? Okay. Well, I don't know where you are, so how can I help you? Ah, there he goes. 
Okay, what do you want to do? You're just standing here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Okay, I guess the table. Hmm. Table seems pretty good. The table and wobbly chairs. A. Hope this is A. Oh no! We ate way too much expired food on this table. Shoot. <sighs> oh. Oh god. That's. What's that smell? Like delicious garbage. Ooh, <laughs> yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be stinky pants Sam? <laughs> oh, stinky oh, pants man. Sam! <laughs> That's jacked up. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and huh. it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Wow. Where are you going, dude? Can I change my answers? Cause Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops. I forgot. The coffee table? Let's clean it. Come on. See. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. Right. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Hmm. Huh? We gotta keep something. Dang, is this why? Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right. <laughs> I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. <laughs> Moo! For your forest shack, you like the mold smell? Uh, on second thought, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Good. I want to change my answers, honestly, because we could have sold that table. Got some cash. Didn't I already look under? Okay. I did. Allison. Yeah? What's up? What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? What? 
X X X. No. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but. But not really. Understandable. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Hmm. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which uh -huh. is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more Makes putting sense. a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Right. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. That's cute. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep it you. To remind us how far we've come. Right. Duh. Hmm. Who's that man with them? I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? I remember <laughs> loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Smile like Allison. I need to go closer. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Uh -huh. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Another memory? Where is it? Should I turn around? Where is the memory? It's like you have to go search for the memory. Okay. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. Uh -huh. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Huh. Awesome. When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair. Yes. Okay. You're right. I was kind of being brat. For sure. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Mm, I didn't answer. Oh, okay. Mm, I prefer coffee. Would you rather like have... Instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. <laughs> nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm -hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? I did. The Ice King is sending us a warning. I want to face it directly. Okay, there we go. For your punishment, said the king, you shall be banished from the forest. And if 
you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Huh. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, huh. sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. In the binder. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Well, I'm over here. Oh, he's got to open it. Okay. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. Right. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And <laughs> she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. Right. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Okay, who are these people? Do something. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a catch. Oh, so that definitely was, uh, what's her name? What are we supposed to do? The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, <sighs> he was kind of always there, lurking. Okay, so are we supposed to put them in order? <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You done? What does it mean to swap? Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's swap you that one. Go here. No, 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 no. Swap. This one. Oh, we now swap these two, right? Because that's that lady, the cop, and the helpful bear. All right, I think I'm done. You sure? sure. Yes. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Intuitively. <laughs> Ooh. That one looks scary. Yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. 
You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. Not the Mad Hunter. <gasps> what's, what's Oh, going on? snap. I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Wow. That looks like death, man. Ugh! Ugh! I forgot about I'm scared. that. We've been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Maybe, Allison. Maybe not. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Hmm. Get the door. Oh, great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. Like what? That's... Thank you. I was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still making wow. pioneer every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. All right. Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. Hmm. I'll give you a hand. All right. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Hmm. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies. Huh? Didn't know they taught that stuff. How did we get in last time? There's a pretty long list of degrees these days. Like outdoor studies, family life studies, gender studies. Well, well it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Really? You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Huh. My mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. You still have your keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. The door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? 
You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. That's like, like twisted as far as you can. He to helped the left. take care give of the place, nice and they're giving me a bad attitude. <clears throat> Damn it. No shit. All right, let's go in. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah. Uh... All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Let's read. I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but it, in case you want to check it out carefully, not to overload the circuits, you'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Huh? Amps total up to 120 look. for the you whole want. house. The Sam, P.S. Pretty sure, pretty so proud of myself for down. once I've could respected the, the right thing, color coding. Each view should have the right color cable. Okay. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What huh. happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just a... Uh, just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? Oh, wait. Hold on. Best damn fullback around. Well, until... 30, 2015. Well, I got hurt. Damn. Kitchen. That's wrong. Kitchen is two. It says, hold on. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. No shit. It's covered in rust. It adds up to 120. Oh, okay, so salt hold on. Lime. It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Okay, garage is number six. So there's already a fuse. Okay. Oh, so I need to remove some of these 30s thinking let's place a 20 let's try this one forty okay um, twenty times 3 equals plus 30 equals plus 15 equals 105 so 120 hold on 120 minus 105 15 okay okay we should be good Wait, that's not right what why hey I'm moving at my own pace I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? Yes. <sighs> Garage has to use 15. Hold on, that might be the problem. Garage was already in there. Okay, so then what's the problem? Damn it. I guess Me. I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. I did it.
no, 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 no. I'm trying to get so a. So that's right. No. Let's try that. B. Get frustrated. Try again. Isn't this working? See any white cable? It's paired with a 15 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Look, I'm all for strong, independent ladies, but uh, we don't want anyone hurting themselves, right? Thanks, but I'm no lady. Uh, did that one blow out? Let's place a 20. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Any white cable is paired with a 15 amp. I see it. Oh, white cable paired with a 15. Okay. Nope. See any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Okay. No. <sighs> These letters on this is throwing me off. Okay. You see any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Oh. Hmm. Seems good. Oh. That took forever. Sorry about that, guys. are sore. I've been lifting weights. <clears throat> you damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um, Like deuces. What was that about? Who knows, man. All right, let's look around. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Right. Preda rep. What's that? Preda rep. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. How would he know that? Right, I sense a story here. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes. Then oh, man. 
<laughs> I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. That's jacked up. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He yeah. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. Remind me to take it down later. Hey there, little buddy. What are we gonna do with this rack? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Oh, Lord. Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where right. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh, man. I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Anything else to look at? Like we looked at everything. Can we go in here? Allison, no. Do you know who this is? What hmm. did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. <laughs> Can I? Careful, the glasses. Ow! <gasps> oh. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Uh oh. Follow the memory. Okay, it's one of these Come ones. On, it's gonna get infected. Move. She is literally in my way. I can't. I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. I cannot follow. Where are you going? There we go. Jeez. Emily, Eddie, how could you do this to me? Look, I had to make that call. Huh. What are they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. I had to make that call. Huh. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Wow. Get out of here. Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Huh. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Okay, let's look at my memory. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. Please Whatever it is. Go. You're just following procedures. That's what it sounds like to me. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait. 
When did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Mm. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what Clearly. was all that about following the law? Right. What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons. I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't True. see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna choose Allison's. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. What? Just, just get out of here. No, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. Before you get in trouble. Right. She didn't say that the Say first Brown time. really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. Right. He still lied. He now did. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? <laughs> the trash. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Bear encounters are frequent during Salmon Run, May through October. Exercise extreme caution. Man, 
I wouldn't want to live anywhere that their precautions were. <laughs> Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? <laughs> that is true. There we go. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West. Our realtor? Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. Right. I know. Look. We both need this money, and it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Right. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Mm. You're gonna soak all day? I like this view. Uncle Eddie warned me about this, but I didn't listen. Oh yeah? What did Uncle Eddie have to say? That we wouldn't get along. Which one is X? Ah. Just that we've led pretty different lives. We might not really see eye to eye like we used to. Mm. Ah, I see. Chief Brown said you shouldn't trust me, so you don't. Got it. That's what you think? You shut people out. Oh, come on. I didn't say that. Is that really what you think? I don't know. It's just that ever since I got back, I felt like I was crashing your party. Well, that's all in your head, Ty. I'm not sure what else to say. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Mm -hmm. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. <laughs> because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? We looked a little like freaks. No one else could play with us. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Mm. 
Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. Hey, look what I found. Oh, hey. Aha. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? I bet you there's people uh, who What like, I wanted to do back oh then, the tree. but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, okay, I have it all written down. Front desk. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He didn't even say hi to Tyler again. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Who designed this building? MC Escher? Leia is totally bizarre. It actually used to be the offices of a chicken farm. Seriously? Seriously. Tyler. You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. <laughs> right. Apparently Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we set outside goes double. Oh. Hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Yes, she was. <laughs> Better get cracking on that arrest then. Later. It feels like every time we figure out a drawer. Here out of thin air. Uh, it's different last night. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, boo. When we hey. Peace. Hey. Speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Father has How is Linda? Mm. I feel like I haven't seen her since Allison. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school. Yeah. Like yeah. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Oh, hey, yeah. been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I loved working with those kids. It was a tough work. I should go. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. 
Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. That's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Right. Anyways, sorry for the rant. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to give a statement? Uh, I had to be in surgery at nine. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital. What's that look for? I, sure I forgot your you. birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I got so wrapped up in Tyler coming. I'm a surgical resident. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. It's been a while. So we around long. Stressing out all morning. It's been a while. Yeah. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? First snow always brings the crazy out. It's been a... Uh, yeah. Okay. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy, what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him his Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? I'll get in line. Uh... Ooh, I don't want to ask just for access. Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at six. I made breakfast. And as we were eating, I realized... I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Tyler, Isabella asked to come with me. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Hmm. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, That's now's not, not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. Oh. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Uh, we get the truth ourselves. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning? Let's do it. Dr. Torres. Of course. I woke yeah, up at him. five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at six. So, Tyler. So I Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Gregs, I just got here. I yeah, I know, but we could use more people Isabella like you. Isabella asked to come with me, so I helped her into her my coat boots before we went out. I stepped outside. Thanks. But I'm not sure that's my thing. Dark, Are you really She's trying to recruit my brother? Huh. And why not? We're short-handed right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured I'd try the other Ronin kid. Uh, Nerd to lower the average age around here, I guess. Certain of what she saw. She says I was a little kid. So around the precise, what she shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. 
a little kid. Talk to her again. What about you? Are you sure you want something? I don't know. I'm sorry. What's up? Sorry about your dog. Do you like being a cop? What about the chase? Sorry about your dog. How do we know about the dog? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. <laughs> what about you? Any thoughts on the future? It's been hard to make any plans. Things have been way too up in the air. Well, this is something I have told your sister before, and that I'll tell you now. It's okay to take your time to figure things out. Figure yourself out. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Where's Isabella now? So it seems like That's cool. she's not going to be much she's better. Better. Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Up to over there. Uh -oh. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Briggs mentioned something. Let's check the building map. Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Alright. Let's see. Okay, it says first floor, ground floor. up to a staircase on the side of the building, oh, okay. but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. Okay. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, okay. really? Got a better <laughs> idea? Checked up. Um, not really. Not really, no. Right, let's go. Coffee, something like that. No. Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. <coughs> what kind of diversion am I supposed to make? Oh, 
Oops. Tyler. All right, that worked. That's crazy. All right. Time All right. Outside. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and fall. Good now. Yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? She's in the bathroom. Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. I should have said cigarette. <sighs> Just some this winter air. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. Is us in here. There's no turning back now. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the yeah, cops Eddie, on you'll who, find enclosure he's in charge of the seating chart. Social. I've included a plus one in the chance of the day. One day you'll use it. Cheers. Let's put the Vecchies next to... You finding anything? No. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record. Mm -hmm. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Right. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Right. Guilty six months, Bureau of Prison, one year surprise release. I don't think that's the type of person that you want to own. Um... Look at you, Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Uh. How old is Brown? Thirty-eight. Uh, Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Delivery attempt 11115. Delivery successful. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? to go together. He went, but I 
I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. <laughs> why? Well, uh, why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there. <laughs> That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Right. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. files, department budgets, but zero case files. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person, and saying that here makes me feel even worse. Police Chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Sure, you checked all the emails. Oh, emails? What the freak? Why did I check the emails? It's not even giving me that option. What are you talking about? Looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does Actually, that mean? Regarding your I don't, I don't know. The but there's a reference number, R six eight six five three. R six eight six five three. Okay, it hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals and archives for your uh, for <clears throat> other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else, Thomas Arbor. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Let's go. This armory. Okay. What the freak? 
guess we should look up that reference in the archives. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Oh, thank you. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Mm. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Your idea. Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Interviewed children at station stated that after a minor's name, Ronan's hair was cut short by sister. Ronan Marianne threatened minors. Ronan with a gun. When fled from her, she pursued child to the docks. Ronan stabbed still threatening the child before falling into the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by Bob. Presented this case to Dab Cruz. D. Cruz charged. Running with homicide. Case number TA66585. I'm in. 
You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, Victim threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into the lake. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. March, March 1st, 2005, at around not a writer, Tyler. the victim, Marianne Ronan, a 41 year old white female, ex exited her home and entered her garage to start loading a Rassler 31 21 9mm shotgun. Shortly after her child, Ronan, 11 years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister. According to witnesses, Ronan stated when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened Ronan with a shotgun. Ronan fled the garage toward the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness Ronan also came out of the house toward the dock where she observed Ronan under threat by, from Marianne defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At the time, both witnesses state some Roman Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. At 22:29, Delos Crossing Police Department officer Chris, Christian Holt received a phone call from Ronan detailing the incident. Patrol officer Blah was dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival, they set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles. Um, Ronan, see their statements for further description. 
Notification of detectives. Eddie Brown by telephone of the incident before being dispatched to the scene. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 2258. They noted the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Cannery Road is a secluded road, mostly comprised of a few residential cottages. Detectives observed a loading, loaded Rossler shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to witnesses and migrants. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear you. It's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Alexa, stop. Okay. I'll use it again, but I want to do grown-in children in March 1st. Okay, let's go back. Let's see. Any ground, March 1st. R62, R62766. Okay, I need to check out 05, R62766.
Sherlock. Sam in the bathroom. And then we get to his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Here. References 0501COMABR. Okay, here it is. Jesus, unbelievable. Brown report Mary Ann to Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Oh, come on, y'all. 
what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Uh, approved location store shoplifting. Person reporting Tessa, Tessa Vecchi. July 8th, 1964, Cannery Road, da da da. 1315. Approximately 1045 hours, Marianne Ronan entered Betty, Betty Vecchi, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vecchi. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vecchi informed Ronan that she did not, but said that she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Vecchi stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Vecchi stated that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Vecchi stated that she was, had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company. Oh, in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Vecchi stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Vecchi believed it was it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home. Wow. See, she's not as nice as everybody thought she was. I knew that though. I need to get moving. Then let's go. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. What? He's coming your way. Oh no. Get out. Uh, Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. You already caught of breaking it. Hey! In. Don't make it get worse. Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Are you kidding me? Huh. You wanna talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? and then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Mm. Okay, let's talk. Wow. Gotta say, Eddie. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation right. to OCS. Right. So I don't blame you there. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. 
Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? Right. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. Right. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. <laughs> right. Absolutely not. I was thinking the same thing. Like, nah, we ain't on, we ain't on that level yet. You know what I'm All saying? right, I'm really so, gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Best you be going, son. Alright. That's cool. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. All right. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? <laughs> because I feel like shit. 
What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Mm. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. <laughs> That would be kind of scary living in a but small town like given that. given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring me down. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey! Tyler, from the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Okay. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. <laughs> We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Oh. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Is Tom busy? How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne. Why was Tessa at the station? Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. Mm. 
I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. Wow. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Tessa reported Marianne. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but... You know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. All right. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. Right. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael! Uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, yeah, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Mm. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I... I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the gameplay here. Um, I played a long time. I don't want it to get too crazy, repetitive, dry, whatever you want to say. Um, we've hit some interesting points. Um, I'm really excited to keep going and see what's really going down. You know what I'm saying? Between these two and they mama. I hope they really get everything exposed and out there and figure out what really happened. Um, please like and and subscribe hit the notifications bell so you know every time that I upload I know it's been a minute I've had a very busy last week and I do apologize but I will get back into the thing the swing of things uh this week um got some new games that I'm gonna be playing um what am I playing uh control very awesome game gonna get back into little nightmares 2 for the screams and things also, speaking of screams and things, i um, going to be getting back into, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Outlast 2 and Visage. Um, Visage is dumb, stupid, crazy, 
everything insane that I hate but love. Uh, hard, just hard, you know, for no reason. You know, just scary, scary and hard for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, I don't think I'm ever going to pass that game, but I love playing it. And hopefully I'll keep getting further and further. I don't know. But this next one is going to be kind of like a two part Visage slash Outlast 2 mixed because I couldn't get too far in Visage. I kept dying. So, you know how that goes. But fun. Um, OK, if you loved it, I loved it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. This is going to be weirder than usual. Yo, you know you want to see me play that game. That is a fire game. Control. Better check it out. Please don't go watch somebody else. Give me a chance. It's it's a game from 2019. It's old. I know. I'm kind of behind, but I'm trying to be a real gamer out here. You know what I'm t saying? I'm trying to do the damn thing. Okay? Give me a chance. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>